Welcome to tutorial 4, Generating Records of Model Dependent and Independent Variables. The goals of this tutorial are to provide new users with knowledge on how to produce records of model dependent and independent variables and how to generate custom tables, graphics, and reports. Begin by opening the layout created in tutorial 3 or by opening the appropriate sample layout. Save the layout with a new name. Ensure that the model is in simulation mode. We will now create a custom output table. Begin by pressing the New Table tab button on the Outputs toolbar. This will open the Tables Properties Setup Wizard. Press the Select None buttons at the top of each choice panel. This will deselect all of the items, allowing us to select the items we are interested in. Select the items currently displayed on the screen. After selecting the desired items, press Accept to create an output table. Select the default scenario and run a steady state simulation. The results of the simulation can be seen in the output table. With the output table tab selected, a copy of this data can be saved by clicking on the export button on the outputs toolbar. You can save the data as a spreadsheet or a Word document. Select the Microsoft Excel option to open a file browser where you can give the file an appropriate name and location. To visualize the data within a row of the table, click on the bar chart icon next to the variable of interest. This will create a new tab with the appropriate bar chart. Save the layout. We will now explore the various output displays that can be made in GPSX. After running a simulation, the additional outputs display button will become available on the outputs toolbar. Press this button and open the sand key diagram. The sand key diagram will visualize the flows through the model. Notice how the streams with a higher flow rate have a wider arrow. This is illustrated by the streams leaving the clarifiers. The effluent flow has a much wider arrow than the pump flow. The display, variable, and Sankey features used in the Sankey diagram can be manipulated with the options at the top of the window. The Sankey diagram can be exported using the export features. Press the OK button at the bottom of the screen to close the Sankey diagram. Next, click on the Additional Outputs Display option and open the Mass Balance diagram. This will open the Mass Balance diagram wizard. First, select the variables you would like to be displayed in the Mass Balance diagram. Press Next to use the default settings. We must now select which streams we would like to display mass balance tables for. Press the Select Num button to deselect all of the streams. Select the streams you would like to be displayed. Similar to the Sankey diagram, display and export options can be found along the top of the diagram. If you would like to reposition the tables in the diagram, simply click on the table and drag it to the desired location. Close the mass balance diagram. We will now be looking at the Energy Usage Summary window. Click on the Additional Outputs menu and select the Energy Usage option. This will open the Energy Usage window, which shows the layout with hotspots around the unit processes. These hotspots represent the amount of the displayed energy type being used by each of the objects. The intensity of the color used in the hotspot will increase as the value gets larger. Different types of power used in the plant can be displayed by selecting the power type from the variable drop down menu. Clicking on the aeration tank will take you to the table pie view. Changing the selected row and columns will change the pie chart to display the appropriate data. Close the energy usage summary window. You may wish to generate a report with the results of the simulation and the parameter values used to obtain those results. To do this, click on the Report button on the main toolbar, not the button with a similar icon on the Output toolbar, which will only export the results of the selected output display. In the Report window, you can select between creating a Microsoft Word document, a standard Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, or a custom Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. 
Select the standard spreadsheet option. The options button next to it will allow you to include or exclude certain information from the report. Press the generate button to open a window where you will be asked to name the file and specify an appropriate save location. After creating the report, GPSX will ask you if you want to view the report. Click yes and the report will automatically be opened in Excel. Browse through the various worksheets to see the model layout, details of each object, and output graph data. You have now completed tutorial 4 of the GPSX tutorial series. You should now be familiar with how to create custom displays and reports to visualize GPSX results.